guys, we've got an issue. I got this thing all the way down and low, and does not want to move. So let's try second gear. It's in second gear there. This is what it does when it's cold. We gotta fix that. Okay everyone, we're underneath the truck. This is the pan for the transmission. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this plug out here. That's a drain plug. And we're going to let it all drain out. This thing's hot, so it should I should get a lot of it out. I won't get most of what's in the torque converter out because I have no way to actually flush this because I don't have, I couldn't find the pump anywhere. Nobody had the damn pump. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull that out and uh, we're going to see what the fluid looks like. All right. So, uh, yuck. See that? It looks like oil, how black it is. That should be red. That should look, look like, you know, red. <laughs> Almost like blood, like see-through blood. Uh, as you can see, that's, um, and it's pretty thick. And when you smell it, it'll smell burnt, just like a burnt oil, you know, it's just got a god-awful smell to it. Now, I'm pulling the pan because I've got a new filter and pan gasket, which I used to do 100% of my shopping for parts at Advance Auto. Now, they kind of let me down when I called about parts for this last night. The gasket for this and the the filter which is like a screen and there's a little gasket for that okay it comes in a kit they wanted $31.99 I called O'Reilly's and I used to hate them but this was $15.99 there half price half the price and it wasn't on sale or nothing so but man this thing is I can smell it it's really bad so we're gonna let this let this uh, drain for a little while and then I'll show you how to take this pan off of here. And I hope hope you guys can see okay. I may have to put my light up, but my light's pretty, you know, it won't fit underneath here. I got it jacked up a little bit. I wouldn't have to do that, but I did that so I could get the camera under here. So I may have to rig up a light somehow for you guys to see better once we take these bolts off. Now there's 14 bolts on here. Uh, there's four different kinds of transmissions for this thing. And uh, this one's a 14 bolt, and then they've also got uh, 18 or 19 bolt. But this is the small one, 14 bolt. Uh, I think it's in what is it, an AC30A something. I'll put it right across the screen right now. But those are the four different ones that you can get. Um, but like this, this, this is the same thing for what 99 to 2004. Uh, the way I'm doing this, so if you've got, if you guys have one of these, this is pretty much how you're going to do it. So I'm gonna, I'm still gonna let that drain a little bit, and uh, then we're gonna go from there. I'll be back with you guys. Hang on a second.
like that. You don't want to bend it too much because you don't want to put a lot of bends in this pan that you're going to have to hammer out later. So let's take, take these loose some more. They're not very long bolts, I'll show you. That's all the longer they are. Quarter inch maybe, lengthwise. So let that drain a little bit more. This is a two-piece up here. This is a two-piece uh, dipstick tube. Okay. It'll, it'll come apart right there. Now, if you have to take the upper part off, there's one bolt here that holds it on up here by the starter. Screws into the bell housing right up there. I don't know if you can see that. Point at it. There's a bolt right up there. Right there. So, let's go ahead and pull this, this bolt the rest of the way out. It's the last one. that now so I don't make too big of a mess I'm gonna put this plug back into the pan and I'm gonna try to yeah and I made a mess anyway damn it so anyway right here right here's the screen where is it at right there I do I can't see nothing I don't right here's the screen and I'll take that off and I'll show you what all it involves. I got transmission fluid all over the damn concrete and I've got this big old, you know, eight foot tarp. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this out of here next. Let me go see what size wrenches I need. I gotta get my glasses. All right guys, there's five bolts on this thing. There's one, two, three, four, and five. They're eight millimeters. And that's what's holding our screen up in there which is also known as a filter but it's just pretty much it's just a screen <clears throat> don't lose these bolts either they are metric and then we'll get this out of here and I'll show you <clears throat> shit I'll probably have to get a wrench on that one there and I'll show you the difference in them Sorry guys. I got it. You guys still see somewhat. And I'll show you all the crap that gets built up in this. Boy, I wish I could do a complete flush, but like I said, I couldn't find. I'm going to have to clean all that off that catalytic converter, too, or it'll stink. So we'll go, truck's on fire. No, it's not on fire. But I couldn't find the damn 12 volt transfer pump I needed. So, I'm just going to have to try to get what I can out of it by doing this. I know there's still got to be some up in the torque converter. Torque converter holds a lot of fluid, guys. So, remember that when you're just going to say, oh, I'll just change the fluid and filter. Remember, there's a lot of that old fluid up inside the torque converter, which is up inside here behind the bell housing there still hot <sighs> trying to get out of your guys way I'm 
And like I said, this has got a gasket on it too, so you probably have to... All right, at least that fell in the pan, right? So you have to uh, clean the gaskets off. There we go. That fell in the pan. Okay. And that's where the new filter is going to go. All right, so let me... I'll show you that. Try not to get this fluid all over the camera. All right, so I'm going to let that drain. While that's draining, you know, this is the old gasket here. Uh, so I got to get all that cleaned off. It's all real hard and stuff. It's been on there for many years. It's been hot many times, so that's going to take me a while. This I'm probably just going to use a uh, like a razor blade on it, a razor blade type, and just go around that. Maybe a, if I can find my brass bristle wire brush, because this is aluminum, so you got to be careful using metal on this. You don't want to take any of that aluminum off, or you'll have a leak. All right, so let me get that that filter out of there, and I'll show you the difference between that one and the new one. Okay, guys. Hope you can hear me. I got the fan running in the background. It's very hot. There's the new one. You see, it's just like a screen, like you know, something like your like your screen door. Only this is really, really fine. Okay. There's what that is. It's made in China. 1018. All right, that's that number on there. Now. As you can see, hopefully, look at all that. See? That's all that sludge. That screen is totally clogged up. Now, I know what a lot of guys are going to ask. Can I just clean that? Will it be okay? Now, there's going to be a lot of guys say, no, you can't clean it. Don't do it. Get a new one. Well, if it was a paper filter, I would say, yeah, true. But this is not. It's a metal screen filter. Okay, it's a screen now. Providing you get that thing looking as good as this and get it totally unclogged. You're short on money. You know, you can't afford the 15 bucks to go get it. All you can afford is the fluid to put back in it. Yes, you can do that. And do uh, make sure you put put some gasket sealer around that pan because it doesn't hold any pressure it just holds it just keeps anything from leaking you can put the blue goo you can put the black RTV sealer around it you can put the orange RTV sealer around it whatever and this make sure you clean it out uh, if if you've got diesel fuel if you've got uh, parts cleaner brake parts cleaner brake cleaner anything like that just make sure that when you hold that up to the light like that. See, can you see my finger behind there? If you're looking down through this square, okay. you got to make sure you can see behind that. I don't know if you guys can see my finger moving. Maybe if I put something white back there. Yeah, see? You got to be able to see clear through it. Make sure and you hold it up to the light. And make sure you can see through that screen. Here's a good view, maybe. See, you can see my sign behind that screen see that make sure all that screen is like that yes you can do it I've done it and I've run the car you know 80 90 thousand miles uh, never had a problem just make sure it is clean make sure you don't hurt that gasket if you do you're gonna have to put some sealer around it and don't glob it up because you don't want these holes in here um, clogging up okay you don't want to clog up anything just make sure it's very well clean now as you can see this one is so dirty you can't see my hand behind there you know you cannot see I'm rubbing all that sh that shit away look at that see all that stuff coming off of there so hopefully this this will you know hopefully it'll buy us a little time is what I'm hoping um, I also got some of this stuff I usually don't believe in it but in this case I'm going to try it you know because she said the thing from day one from day she she got it she's never it's never liked hills so but there you go 
So now, I'm going to go out and clean the pan and clean that gasket off, that old gasket off there, and let's put it back together, okay? Okay, guys, now here's the pan. Let me show you what this thing is full of. Look at all that. That sludge, that slime, that's old tranny fluid, maybe some clutch parts, you know. Um, look at that. See that? That has all got to come out of there. So, you know, that'll that'll clog up your your valve bodies and you know your your valves in there, that'll all get clogged up. So I'm going to get this cleaned off, and as soon as I get, and this has still got a lot of gasket on it, so as soon as I get that all cleaned off, I'll come back with you and we'll get it put back together. Okay guys, so we got everything cleaned up the best we can. I wanted to show you inside of here, come on, get up there. this is a little magnet that catches all the, uh, catches any, any metallic stuff, it'll keep it from, you know, going back up into the system clogging stuff up. I've got a rubber gasket on here so I could start my screws alright and it holds the gasket in place. Now if you're using a cork gasket or something like that you may want to use some kind of tack on it. A little bit of sealer or something. But this you won't have to. I've already got the uh, the new filter up in there so now we're gonna get these started couple of these started here grab my and then uh, then I'm, I'm going to tighten them down now there is a torque spec I'm not sure what it is but it would be in inch pounds and there's a torque sequence but this is not holding any pressure like a head or an intake or something like that so I'm just going to do a cross pattern on them and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to get these up in here and get these all started. And then I'm going to tighten them with my ratchet because they don't have to be super duper tight. Again, just, you know, just snug them. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go over them one more time, make sure they're tight. I'm going to tighten this up. Then we're going to fill it up with fluid. Okay, guys, there's marks there. See, there's a mark there, 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 and there. And it'll tell you hot. So when it's hot, you know, up to operating temperature, you know, it should be between these two marks right here. And when it's cold, it should be between these two marks this is when this is when you have to add okay so when it's cold it should be there that's when you're checking the cold but I always like to check mine idling I'll start it up let it run let it get up to operating temperature where'd you go and then uh, then I'll check it idling and park and it should be somewhere in between here. I like to see it closer up to here, but you don't want it over full either. So, and there's the type fluid Dextron 2. So, that's a real tiny, I can't just dump it in, that's a real tiny hole down in there. Let me see if I can get you down in there. So, I've got a little trick for that. See? 
that right down in there I don't have a funnel that small so I've got another idea and I'll show you here in just a second now I bought this uh, Castrol I love their oil for small engines and this is for Honda, Toyota, Nissan and other imported vehicles so it's supposed to work on this I did cross reference it and people have said they've used this with no problem so I'm going to set that up there for right now okay and I'm going to take this in right here one end it don't matter which one and I'm going to stick it down in that tube the uh, dipstick tube okay I'm going to stick that down in there I'm going to open this up now I'm going to start out with three gallons this is or three three quarts this is a gallon so it's four quarts so I'm going to start out like I said with three three quarts and we'll see we'll go from there we'll start it up let it run a little bit check it and we'll go from there now I'm going to stick this down in here and I'm going to start squeezing this bulb and it should suck it up out of there and if it don't I'm going to be pissed of course I could have it the wrong way I didn't think there was a way on a certain way you put it but let's try it like this then down in here and this don't seem to be working at all all right let me check this out and I'll be back with you never had one do that before okay I got it going I just had to get some down in there see them bubbles I've got it siphoning into it's automatically filling into the transmission so I'm going to put about three quarts in there we'll start it up run it through the gears check it and if it's pretty close then we'll go ahead and um, let it get up to operating temperature check it again and we'll go from there okay let's start it up we're going to run it through the gears when I say that I mean go to reverse neutral drive two and low and then back up again just like that don't go fast give it a second and then we're going to pull it out while it's still running and we're going to check it Let me get my glasses on. We may be just about right. Alright, see it sucks some down in there. So let's pull it out. Or let's put it back in there and we'll check it again. Just to make sure. Alright, I'm looking at it on the ad. 
So I'm going to add some more into it. And then we'll check it again. All right, it's up to operating temperature. Now let's check. Wipe it off. Dip it again. Make sure you put your dipstick all the way down in. Alright. It's on add. I'm going to need to add about another pint. When these things add, it's not like the oil. You don't add a whole quart. Add it by the pint. So I'm going to put another pint in it. And I'm going to call it a day. We'll let Monkey take it for a ride. I just took it for a drive. It's shifting good. So I'm going to put another pint in there, and we'll go from there. There we go. Oops. I know it's hard to see, but it's right there, right before that last mark. Now if you look on this side, if you can see it, it goes way up here. Never go by your highest mark. Always go by your lowest. So it's right in there. I'm going to let it go like that. I think it's good to go. Uh, it doesn't look bad. Because I didn't get to flush it all the way, so it does look pretty good. And I'll explain that to you in just a second. Let me get some of this stuff cleaned up, and I'll be back with you. Okay, so Monkey's coming back from test driving it. Let's see what she thinks. Pretty good sign, huh? It's a lot better. So what do you think? A lot better. Is it normal? You're on camera. It's got some peps again. It's got some peps again. No slip? Mm -mm, no. I heard it when you took off. It just clicked them right off, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Second, third, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, they did what they needed to do. All right, so we got lucky, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was praying. <laughs> like real hard. <laughs> Uh, it's it's this is for this situation. It's not a permanent fix. The truck has what 480 some thousand on it. It's got almost half a million miles, but it'll get us through for a little bit. And uh, if it starts slipping again, then it'll be time to change the transmission. So or or get another truck. I'd like to keep this one, but me too. But... I'd like to make a little rat rod out of it, guys. Pep it up a little bit, you know. Little 30 shot of nitrous, dual pipes, dual stacks up the back. Sun visor, yeah. So what do you think? You good to go? Yeah, yep. I feel better. <laughs> a lot better. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'll be back with you with my final thoughts. Who the hell am I? Who used to say that? Final thoughts. J Jerry, what, Jerry Springer. It's not my final thoughts. I better not say that. Yeah, because he got a little loose on his program. <laughs> yeah, they can play that shit on TV yeah. during the daytime. My shit gets monetized, demonetized if I say fuck. Damn, the love bugs are horrible. All right, I'll be back with you, let you know what's going on. All right, guys, to give you an idea of what we're looking at, I know it's a black pan, but you get an idea here. Look at this. See that? That almost looks like motor oil. It's not. But it should be red, and I'll show you what it should look like. I left a corner full here to show you that's what it should look like. Okay, so what was going on was that got sludge built up. Okay. Now, she would have a habit, and this has been since we've got together, she would shift. I noticed she would reach down and shift it, and I'm like, is your transmission all right? She's like, yeah, I just accidentally put it in second gear sometimes. Well, it got to be a habit. And this thing was taking off in second gear all the time. So first gear was hardly ever being used, you know. Um, 
unless like when she would come up to a stoplight and then take off well then it would start out in low gear but if, as soon as she would like go from reverse instead of going down to drive she would go down to second she said well I can't see them numbers and it only takes a second to look down so she would skip drive and put it in second well now now it's not going to take off in low gear it's going to take off in second gear and that'll make them run hot and when they get hot the viscosity I can't get into all this this is like a whole another episode but the viscosity of any oil any uh, hydraulic fluid anything like that which that's kind of like a hydraulic fluid which is an oil it's all um, petroleum based right so when it gets hot it'll break down it gets thin and then as it cools off it gets thicker and then it gets thin and then it gets thicker then it turns into sludge after so long well when it does that when it's turning into sludge it's just laying down there you're essentially losing fluid because this truck never had a leak so essentially what it was doing it was running low on fluid so we got lucky there um, we saw a cool car chase we were standing in there taking a break monkey was talking we was talking and there was a little Toyota pickup truck about like this a regular pickup truck though kind of pulled off like he was going to pull in slow down and all at once it looked like a Chevy maybe a, not a Malibu but like a Monte Carlo like from the 90s maybe early two, 2000s uh, went around that truck and right behind him was sheriff he was running from him then we kept hearing these sirens all around us and they was going up and past up and down past here and the sirens was the next street over and I heard tires squealing and sirens and they were on him they were after him so I don't know if they got him or not but I got a couple second clip of him going past the house here on my camera system so I'll show that to you at the end of this video so that'll just be a few seconds for you but anyway guys thanks for watching that's how you do it the, lo the hardest part and the longest part of this trans this particular transmission is getting all your gaskets cleaned off getting your pan clean get everything out of it that's what takes the longest take your time so you don't have any leaks and you should be all right um, you know like I said it's just a matter of taking all, all them bolts out make sure you get the gasket in place and you'll be all right and it shouldn't leak on you don't over tighten them but uh make sure they're snug couple days check them you know like tomorrow she's got a long day at work so when she gets home i'll go ahead and check the fluid i'll check the bolts again make sure they're tight and uh everything everything will be good there and i'll let you know in an upcoming video how the truck is doing so like i said maybe it probably took me over an hour just to get everything clean. The transmission clean, where the pan goes up on, wipe everything down inside, get any of that out, that gunk that you can get out, make sure that magnet's clean, and then you got to clean that pan off too. So if, if, if it's been on there like this as long as it has, um, it's, uh, you know, you're going to have some trouble getting it off of there. Um, use a brass brush or whatever you got to do, just make sure all that stuff is off there clean and you'll be good to go so you know if you've never done one before but you got one just like this it's not that hard follow what i did a couple hours you'll be done so all right guys and you gearheads i know you're saying i can do it in half an hour well you probably can i probably could too but it took me over an hour just to clean the pan and the transmission because i got it really clean but you know total working time yeah about 30 minutes and i I had to use that hose, you know, to put, to siphon the fluid down in. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. And here come the cops going past chasing somebody. So, you guys be cool. Have a great week. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.